Welcome back to another Varnberg Implement The Basics informational series video. Today we're going to talk about tractor engine horsepower versus PTO horsepower and what you really need to know. Different size compacts and utility tractors are all, most manufacturers are selling by the engine horsepower. What are you really getting? Well, we're going to jump in here, pop the hood, and we're going to discuss a few things on this 1734E. We'll come around onto this side. This tractor is in a hydrostat configuration. Hydrostat and gear transmission is available options. They both create 34.0 engine horsepower. But the difference is the Hydrostat only has 27.2 horsepower on the power takeoff shaft back here. The gear drive has 29 horsepower. Why is that? And why does it really matter? Well, if you're going to pull an implement like this Rhino Ag Rebel Series 60 inch rotary tiller, it requires 25 to 45 PTO horsepower. Implement manufacturers for rotary mowers, tillers, broadcast seeders, anything that is PTO driven is, are going to rate their needs based on PTO horsepower. What that PTO shaft, what that tractor can produce at the PTO shaft. It used to be tractors were all rated by PTO horsepower because that was something dealers can test with a dynamometer in their shop. The engine horsepower became popular because that number is always larger. Things that affect the engine. We're going to step over here to a GC series because it makes it easy to get in here to discuss engine. Engine horsepower is bare engine horsepower. No alternator, no fan blade, no water pump. Nothing connected to it. It is the gross base horsepower of that engine sitting on a stand, what it can produce. For example, if your vehicle, or they talk about in tractors, air conditioning approximately takes five to seven engine horsepower to run an air conditioning system. It's parasitic loss from the base engine to the PTO that's what is very important to you. So when you're purchasing a tractor, not only do you need to look at the engine horsepower to compare the different series and what you're looking at, but more importantly, if you're going to do PTO applications, even a mid-mount mower is a PTO application. That PTO, that PTO horsepower is going to tell you what you can do and what you can't do. Power steering is going to take horsepower. The transmission is going to take horsepower to operate it. The water pump. The, fan, the engine fan blade. The alternator here is going to take horsepower. Those are all items that you've got to look at what's available to do work. And that's what we talk about PTO horsepower is the available horsepower to do work. So when you're comparing the specs, as you can see pictured here, we show engine horsepower and we show PTO horsepower. And a perfect example is when we move over here to the 1526. This is a 24.8 engine horsepower tractor that has a, does a very good job of efficiently transferring PTO horsepower. It actually creates 20.1 PTO horsepower with a hydrostat transmission. But if we were going to look at this Rhino Ag tiller and that Rebel tiller over there, the SRT48 is a 48 inch tiller. It needs 10 to 30 PTO horsepower to operate it. Whereas we mentioned earlier, this Rebel 60R takes 25 to 45. This tiller would not work behind the 1526 because it doesn't have enough PTO horsepower to properly operate the machine. PTO horsepower is very important in your purchasing decision. Make sure you check more than the engine horsepower and look 
at what you're really buying and what you're really getting. There's a lot of differences in compact tractors and here at Varnberg Implement we try to help you learn more about your purchasing decision so you can make the best choice for you. Come out, visit us Varnberg Implement, let us teach you a lot more about compact utility tractors and all the great products from Massey Ferguson and Rhino Ag.